finals are over. Uh, they had their highest TV ratings in nearly 11 years. The biggest stars might be on vacation now, but some are still traveling around the world to promote the sport. Wu Yina has this. Although twice an all-star, Portland Blazers point guard Damian Lillard isn't all that famous in China, but still he got his own welcome party. I think it's good because uh, he's an NBA all-star. I mean, all-star, you don't, there are only, what, 15, 14 players on one team as an all-star player, so it's not, it's really not easy to be a, become an all-star. And LeBron James and Kobe is like really big names, and you don't really see them very often, so. But in the event, only 30 fans turned out. Not that many, especially when compared to the crowds wooed by Chinese-American Jeremy Lin a year ago. Does he find it harder to attract the fans in China than in the U.S.? I don't think it's more difficult um, because I, the first thing I noticed when I got off the plane is that a lot of people here are huge fans of the game. One NBA writer says that why there are fewer super big names in the NBA now, such as Michael Jordan or Yao Ming, both the NBA and the sports brands still need traveling ambassadors. Uh, it's true they won't have the impact in China that Yao Ming had, as most of them are Americans who don't have much connection with China. The players, though, they really think the Chinese market is important because China has so many people and so many fans. The sponsors also like to bring more players to China. Who knows, maybe someday one of them will become famous. Then if he has fans here in China, that will be easy for the sponsor to sell products, host events, and also good for the players' popularity. Huang says that to expand the Chinese market, the NBA will bring more famous players to big cities and players of lesser reputation to second-tier cities. But are the fans buying the strategy? I don't care if he's famous or not, but I will come to see him if he comes to Shanghai. Before, I could only see them on TV, but now I can see them in person. They got to do commercials somewhere, right? They got to promote their name somewhere. and. Um... China has a big fan market, so yes, it's a good place to promote. Huang says normally a sports brand has to pay millions of dollars to invite a big-name star to be their ambassador and come to China every year. A normal NBA player costs only one-tenth of that. Every summer, more than 30 NBA players come to China either for sponsorship fulfillment or for commercial events. Big names like LeBron James or Kobe Bryant can earn more than 10 million yuan for just one trip to China, which is why they are very happy to come and meet their fans. This summer alone, in addition to LeBron James, Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, basketball fans can also anticipate the arrival of Chicago Bulls' Derek Rose and retired player Tracy McGrady. Wina ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.